Geometry, section 5.5. We are going to work with some inequalities, and these inequalities are going to be on a triangle. What you notice here on this triangle, wherever the shortest side is, it's always going to be across from the smallest angle. Let me get my trusty pens again. Take a look at my angle that I have here. If this side over here is super short, this angle across from it is very small. If I want to make that side bigger, then I definitely have to make the angle better. Same as like a hinge on a door. If you want the door to be open wider, then the hinge has to be open further. Over on the other side of the door, the hinge is connected. You're walking through the entry here. It's across from it. So the smallest side will always, smallest angle will always be across from the smallest side. <clears throat> Notice I took my angle out of here. It should say angle C is greater, angle A is greater than angle C, but I didn't want to put an angle mark in here and a greater than sign and completely throw you off. It's saying is A greater than C or is angle A smaller than C? And all you do is you look straight across. Here's angle C, angle C, has a smaller side over there. Angle A has a bigger side across from it. So angle A has got to be larger than angle C is because the side across from angle A is bigger. The bigger the side, the bigger the angle. Whoops, there's more on this page. Nope, there's not. Right in order from smallest to greatest, <clears throat> the angles. You should be able to tell by looking at this which angle is bigger, which angle is smaller because of the side opposite. It did say that it wants to go smallest to greatest. The smallest side is 5, which means the smallest angle is R. The next is 7, which means Q comes next. And then finally the 8, therefore angle S is the largest. Angle R, angle Q, angle S. Other way around. Write the sides in order from smallest to greatest. Again, pause your video if you have to draw this triangle. Sides in order from smallest to largest. Since this is the smallest angle at J, the smallest side across from it is segment GH. The medium side is GJ, segment GJ, and I know that because it's across from the medium angle, and the largest side is segment HJ. And you have to go by degrees. You can't go by looks because otherwise what's going to happen is you just look at it and say, oh, that one's bigger like a second grader would. We're going to start doing this and giving you angles that you can't tell which side is bigger because they draw it not proportionate, not, in, not to scale. So make sure you're always looking the side across from the smallest angle. A triangle inequality says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle has to be greater than the third side. If you have two sides of a triangle, it has to be greater than the third side. And here's my example. I've got two sides of a triangle. Let me clear the background here. Make that nice and nice. I've got these two sides of a triangle. It says two sides of a triangle have to be greater than the third side. I'm gonna even pick a different pen and get a shorter one. So all three of these are definitely a different size. I've got the small, time out. Today, Kohler, please call the office. Today, Kohler, please call we the office. We have a small blue highlighter, a medium sized yellow marker, and a third side is gonna be this ruler. It says any two sides of a triangle, so I want these to be my two sides, has to be larger than the third side, because otherwise, how would I possibly make a triangle out of this? I could stretch these out as far as I possibly can, and I can't make a triangle out of this from end to end, because it'll never reach. No matter where I put these, I can't get this third side to reach all the way to the top. So when you put two sides of a triangle together, they've got to be bigger than this third side. Even if it's only by a little tiny bit, um, so if you're being asked, 
are the sides of a triangle, you have a two inch peg and a two inch peg and you want to make a triangle out of it with a five inch, okay, that's not going to work because the two inches and the two inches put together are going to leave a one inch gap. There's no way if you try to make an angle out of them, it's never going to reach. So no, these are not sides of a triangle. The next one, three, five, and two. We're getting better, but no, if this is five inches and we put three inches here and the other two inches here, we can make a segment, but as soon as you put a little bit of an angle at it to try to make a triangle, the two and the three are not going to fit together because of the angle in between them. So no, it can't be the same size, it has to be bigger. Five, two, and four, now we're talking. If I have a five inch, and I have a two inch, and a four inch, two plus four is six. So those two sides are bigger than the third side. So this one is a yes. Add the two smallest sides, make sure it's bigger than the third side. And lastly, the length of that third side can be any value greater than the difference, difference means subtraction, of the two lengths, but it has to be less than the sum or the addition of the two lengths. It can be greater than the difference, but less than the sum. Because again, let me say this, if you don't know what this, how big this third side is, okay, it has to be small enough, smaller than the sum of these two, because if it's bigger than the sum of these two, you can't make a triangle. But it can't be so small that it doesn't even make a triangle with these. It has to be big enough to make a triangle between these two. So let's do an example problem of that. A triangle has one side length of 12 and another side length of eight. So we've got a 12 and an eight. All I have to do is read carefully and write as I read. The length of the third side can be any value greater than the difference. 12 minus eight is four. So the length of the third side has to be, we'll call it S for side, has to be greater than four. Because if it's four, it doesn't fit. Four plus eight is exactly 12. I need it to be bigger than four. And don't do this. Please don't write down the number five. Don't say, oh, the third side is five. You, you have to say greater than four because 4.1 would work, 4.5, 4.8, four and three quarters. You, you have to use the number four and then just say, make sure it's bigger than the number four. But then the second part of it says, it has to be less than the sum of the two lengths. So if I take 12 plus eight, that equals 20. It, it also can't be too big the S has to be smaller than 20. So the third side of the triangle has to be between four and 20. And again, you can't say 19. You have to say less than 20 because 19.5 would be okay. So would anything under that. And here's a diagram. Well, let me just write it properly. If this said four is less than S, or a lot of times we use X, is less than 20. This is a mathematical way of saying this side has to be between four and 20. Okay, because if I had stick that was 12 units long and an eight, okay, this one has to be at least four. If it's not at least four, it's not gonna make it. So it has to be bigger than four to get past there. But I could take those same two sticks, 12 and eight, and I could open them up this way and make an obtuse triangle. Well, then you have to be careful and make sure that this side is smaller than 20 for that to fit. It's gotta be smaller than 20 because if it's like 22, 23, 24, you're not making a triangle out of that. So depending on which way you hold your two sticks, Make sure this side is bigger than four, but make sure that it's less than 20. So, oops. So this is how you're writing your answer when asked how, describe the possible lengths of the third side. This tells me third side, any number between four and 20 is perfectly fine. So if you wanna try it again, 
go ahead and read this, pause it, try it yourself, and see if you get the same answer I get. Okay, what'd you get? 10 and 14, how big can the third side be? You know that it's gonna be set up like this, or you could use an S in the middle. It's gotta be greater than this number, but smaller than this number. 10, 14 minus 10 is four. 14 plus 10 is 24. Hopefully you got the same thing I got. So that's what you're doing in section 5.5. I think we're on, yeah, 5.5, inequalities.